Hi, my name's Jeremy. I'm a medical laboratory scientist here at Pathology Queensland at the Townsville Hospital. As soon as I ran Louise's sample through the analyzer, I could tell that this was going to be urgent and there was going to be a problem as the sample had flagged. Now, our analyzer will flag samples that they consider abnormal, whether it indicates this white cell count's a little bit elevated, there could be blasts here. It can only give us an indication. From then, I made a film so that one of our scientists could review it with our supervisor to see what we were dealing with. Hi, my name's Anna. I'm another medical laboratory scientist at Pathology Queensland at the Townsville Hospital. All significant films are reviewed by scientists and a report is prepared for the requesting doctor and the haematologist. Louise's film was significant as it contained blasts, which are immature white blood cells. They are a feature of leukaemia and if present in high numbers, can indicate the severity of the disease. In Louise's case, these were at dangerous levels and required urgent attention from the haematologist. After the haematologist reviewed the film, he would order a bone marrow um, investigation and a flow cytometry. With these, he can sp get more specific what we're dealing with. So we know it was the leukaemia, but now he can look to what type, myeloid, lymphoid, and from that he can decide on the best course of treatment, get a prognosis. Then afterwards, we will do daily full blood counts and film reviews to monitor the patient's treatment and see how they're responding. Hi, I'm Ailey and I'm a scientist specialising in flow cytometry at Pathology Queensland. We received a sample of Louise's blood for flow. Flow cytometry helps diagnose the type of leukaemia by detecting markers on the outside of the white cells. This information will also give the clinician an idea of which cytotoxic drugs will work against Louise's leukaemia. Hi, I'm Carol. I'm a scientist that works in the transfusion medicine department. I provide compatible blood for patients like Louise, who has been undergoing chemotherapy, where cytotoxic drugs destroy her own bone marrow, and this means she is unable to manufacture her own red cells and white cells. Therefore, during this crucial time, we need to replace these for her, and they come from donor cells. Now, we provide compatible red cells, platelets, and plasma during this time if the patient needs it. And um, she might also need irradiated blood products because of the cytotoxic drugs that she's on, and this prevents a disease called transfusion-associated graft-versus-host disease. Uh, thank you to all of you who donate blood. Louise can have this life-saving treatment, and we actually match the donor red cells with Louise's to make sure that Louise doesn't reject the new cells. Hi, I'm Xyloma. My primary role is to look after point of care analyzers for the laboratory and the hospital. By point of care, I mean the analyzer is brought to the patient's bedside and results are obtained as little as three minutes. Imagine how critical this is in a life-threatening situation. On a daily basis, I look after the point of care and the blood gas analyzers throughout the whole hospital to make sure that the most accurate results are obtained. The wards I look after include emergency, intensive care, theatres, neonatal intensive care, coronary care unit, cardiac catheter lab, birth suite and maternity. I also provide point of care, quality control and supplies to our regional hospitals. Another part of my role is to provide training to staff members that use these analyzers.